Okay, so if you want the real, real Micro Machines effect to this video, just go into the settings and change the speed to times two, because it's Micro Machines, and if you know if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real thing. So yeah, these are the Micro Machines 1996 Greedo Nino Man Tuscan Raider 3-pack. These things are kind of weird. Now, uh, my brother and I both purchased these. He wants these two, and I want this one. So, yeah, these are actually pretty unique little things, and uh, they're kind of neat, and I wish they would bring them back. They're almost like, uh, what is it, Mighty Max? Something like that. They're almost like that, but they're really not, because they're, they're smaller and they're weird, and they're Star Wars. So let's look at Greedo first, because he, he's a pretty interesting one. He's probably my favorite just head out of all of them, uh, the, the paint's kind of sloppy, honestly, but it, it's just kind of neat, neat looking. Uh, I like the look of it. Um, you can see 1996. Really just like, I, I like the little details and textures they got into it. Really, really nice looking. And then you can, of course, bloop, and right inside, oh look, you got a nice old Han Solo in there, sculpted in with a, is that an Ugnaught? Is that an Ugnaught in the cantina? Okay, it's an Ugnaught in the cantina. Then you got the cantina bar. Then in here, you got a cantina floor, which is kind of un underwhelming. And then you got this little Greedo figure, which is really, really cool. Getting in as close as we can on this little guy. The detail on the paint for how, st for how tiny it is is just really, really nice. I mean, look, that's my freaking finger. That's, it's, it's really, really tiny. And really, really adorable. And it just goes in right there. And boom, there you go. There you got a... They got a nice little Greedo in a weird display. These are really weird and they're really acquired tastes. They're really knickknacks, honestly. These are knickknacks for Star Wars collectors and fans. If, if you like these, if you like weird little knickknacks, then go for it. It's They're, they're, they're knickknacks. That's what they are. So there's good old Greedo. Then, and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nine-Num is one of the most annoying yet funny characters in Return of the Jedi. Just look at that face. That should be the freaking thumbnail right there. Just a weird out-of-focus close-up of, close of Nine-Num. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting really creepy with this. So looking at the details of the of Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Certainly got a lot more paint than Greedo, and the paint's a lot nicer too. Really like it, like the red. Even though the red almost looks like his nose is bleeding, and it's just like, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Back is kind of uh, hollow for a specific reason, and then do 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 do. Oh look, nine numbs in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Isn't that cool? Oh uh, yeah, look at look at these details. That looks like the back of the Millennium Falcon. And it's so cool looking. And then right here you got a kind of wonky eyed Nine Numb. Nine Numb, you look like you should probably get your eyes checked, buddy. And then the controls, which are actually pretty nicely sculpted. The Nine Numb here, he's uh he's pretty much just sitting in there. He's not like on a base or anything. He's just a little dude that's sitting down. It's very tidy and very adorable. Even though his eyes are really painted off. The colors they got on it, how small it is, are actually really impressive. There's the chair, if you're wondering. These things are really, I can't stress enough, th these are knickknacks. These are freaking knickknacks, dude. Out of all three, this is probably my favorite. Something about, like, the, the face. And uh, the fact that it's Mr. Ya Ya Ya, as well as just the really nice detail, it just, it's so cool. So here's Mr. Ya Ya Ya. Actually, let's display it like that. And then finally, we have... The Tuscan Raider, the one I'm stuck with. These eyes are are piercing into my freaking soul, dude. This is scaring the crap out of me. What am I looking at? That, that is scary. That looks like those toys where you squeeze them and their eyes pop out even more. Really, really weird stuff. Want to know why his eyes are really weird? Because you open them up and his eyes become moisture evaporators. And you got a little bit of a skull there, and a spine, and you little, got little knickknacks, moisture evaporator towers. And then in the back, this is like a little, this reminds me of like a nativity, in a nativity scene or something. Like you can take the little Tuscan, and you just put him up there, and it's, it's like, oh, the little Tuscan, you know. Noel, Noel, Noel. It's, it's, it's really weird. So yeah, the, I like the two sons, and I like the little Bantha there, even though his eyes just so weird, and it's piercing into my soul. And he's got a giant hole through him. That That is a medical concern. 
So right there, you got a little hole, and then right here, you got a little Tuscan Raider. Look at that. This is certainly the best miniature figure for me. It's just little details, and the fact that I absolutely freaking love Tuscan Raiders. It's just so cool. It's a nice another addition. It's a nice other addition to my Tuscan Raider collection, so you can tap in there, and then boom, there you go. So out of all of these, which one is my favorite? Uh, the Tuscan Raider is the one I'm getting. So uh, <laughs> it, I guess that's probably my favorite, but I'd say the best is probably the 9 number one. The, the paint on the head itself and the paint on the interior, it's, it's really nice. Now, I won't be reviewing any more of these because I don't have any more of these, and uh, they're, they're, they're really niche. Uh, let's look at the package, though, because the package is pretty unique. Uh, taking a look at this right here. Um, the, the bubble has been removed. It's this big blue little hole there, and then Yoda. This packaging is so retro. I love it. It reminds me of something I'd seen this uh, in my old toy store back when I was a kid. It's just so cool. Flipping it over, you got a bit of a read-up. It will not be in the comments in, or in the description, so if you want to read it, uh, go and pause. Then go ahead and pause it now. See, one thing I hate, like, the reviewers do this sometimes, where it's like, your subscription if you want to read it, and then they just immediately go away, and you have to go back and play, like, a game of pausing it at just the right time when it's in focus, and it's right there. So, yeah, there's the description if you actually want to read it. There's the description of the Tuscan, of Nine Numb, and of Greedo, as well as Nine Numb. Down here, here's the other ones you could get. Uh, really kind of, the, the one I think I, I would like the most in additions, probably either the Scout Trooper or Boba Fett. I do want to make a note here, uh, down here, you can see Ninum, he's got these squinted eyes of judgment <laughs> right at the bottom of the box, and I love it. They're so funny in, in here. Here's the actual one, just to compare. So you see he doesn't have the squinted eyes of judgment. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. The place I uh, I got this also did have that one, but eh, it, it wasn't really worth it to me, now was it? Then up here is, is from Galoob, and remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, you know it's not the real thing. So yeah, guys, that has been the review of the good old Micro Machines Tuscan Raider, Greedo, and Nine Num 3-pack. Let me get them back into the screen and into their head modes. I do want to point out, he can only get into his head mode once he is detached from the base. Then you can close him. The Tuscan, I'm pretty damn sure, just period will not go in there. Um, you might be able to, like, finagle them. I mean, there, there is a chance you might be able to get them in there. It's just, I would not count on it. I think you have to remove the minifig to actually get it to close. If anyone owns this and would like to dispute my claim, go ahead. But that's honestly really disappointing. So you can't take it with you as a package if you want to. If you're a little kid and you want to play with these, then there's an item. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed my review of the Greedo uh, 9 Num and Tuscan Raider. I was actually about to try to do the Micro Machine, Micro Machine, Micro Machine voice guy throughout the whole video, but I know for a fact that would not have worked out. So, I hope you did the times two speed. That, that would have been really funny. So, yeah, guys, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, check on my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and as always, uh, if, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, you know it's not the real thing. And uh, there you go. He looks really sad. Oh my god, he looks so sad, Mr. Ya Ya Ya. Oh ya ya ya. Ya ya ya. Oh ya ya ya. Okay. I'm out of here. Bye guys.